Hi folks, I'm Marcel James. Welcome back to The Pulse. Today I want to talk about spermidine and other polyphenols or plant molecules, dietary supplements in general. Over the past several months, when I first started taking NMN and then I had taken resveratrol for a couple of years prior to that, I viewed supplements with a lot of caution with a lot of hesitancy. I was quite nervous about them because I ordered them online from like Amazon and really unreliable sources. And I sometimes would get a little shaky, like I ate coffee. I don't know how much of that was just psychological, just nervous about taking things uh, because I have had allergies all of my life. And I've always been sensitive to things like, you know, drinking too much alcohol. I would sometimes get red blotches or, you know, I've always been sensitive to like mold, dust mites, weeds, grasses, these kinds of things. So yes, taking plant molecules did give me some anxiety or at least nervousness about taking them, but I've become more and more comfortable as I've tried more and more. And my viewpoint of taking supplements in general has shifted. As long as the quality is high, as long as the, the purity is high, everything is tested well, um, I haven't been having any issues taking supplements. I take them from Do Not Age, but I'm sure there are other good ones out there too. I don't want to get too hung up on the brand in general with this video. I take them because I'm comfortable with them and I've done lab tests of their NMN and that's why I continue with them. But the bottom line is I've added now, I, I was kind of surprised the other day. I just kept kind of trying different ones and I'm now up to a total of eight I think I posted a video with six a couple months ago. Uh, I'm up to eight different dietary supplements, polyphenols. They all are derived from plant molecules. And I just view it differently. I view it as, I look at it this way. What if David Sinclair is right? What if we can't get enough of these polyphenols directly from plant consumption uh, at our either advanced ages, over 50, or the fact that we grow plants in such a homogenized way or you know that they don't they don't go through enough stress in their growth he always talks about stressed vegetables and eating stressed plants which isn't so easy to do because you go to the store and everything is usually clean and pretty and uh, it's grown in a in a certain way with a lot of controls and it doesn't go through those stresses during the growth so the polyphenol levels are low in a lot of these plants. And plus the variety of things you'd have to eat on a constant level to match what you could take with supplements, it'd be very difficult. So what if he's right? What if supplementing with these things as they've done in their uh, lab experiments with model organisms, yeast, worms, mice, and had positive results in all of these model organisms, what if he's right? So I decided based on my experience with NMN, resveratrol, TMG to go ahead and trust, you know, and, and give it a try. I'm, I'm going to be 60 in a couple of years and I just figure, why not? I'm, I'm also doubling down. I'm eating very healthy. I've eliminated sugar, almost most alcohol, once or twice a week, a couple beers. And that's pretty much it. I've, I eliminated it for a month. And then uh, now after a tennis match, I'll have I'll allow myself a couple beers uh, to celebrate. But that's really it. I've really reduced that greatly, uh, probably over 90 percent of what I was drinking prior to with beer and wine, never drinking a lot of hard stuff. But just sharing with you that my overall approach to well-being isn't just taking supplements. It is living healthier, drinking lots of water, uh, not eating uh, sugar or processed foods, eating things like blueberries, uh, which I do believe are healthy, um, even started little bits of chocolate, not much, but a little piece of 70, 80% chocolate, just because the studies are so compelling. And lots of leafy greens, avocados, uh, cucumbers, living healthy, but then supplementing and also exercising, stretching every day. I even started doing cold showers. I'll talk about cold shower, shower therapy, my own experience with it. But as far as muscle recovery, recovery, it's been very positive as well. So I'm really tackling these things. People mentioned heading down the rabbit hole early on in my video series. Um, yeah, that's, that's what it feels like, but in a really good way. So um, it's been going really well. So really what today I want to focus on now is spermidine. Now, more and more studies have been very positive, have shown very positive um, attributes for taking spermidine. 
One very significant one is a 30% life extension in mice. Now that is not 10 or 15. Right, that that is outside any kind of margin for error, I believe. Once you get to a thirty percent life extension, that's pretty dramatic. If a mouse would live, you know, three years, you're talking about it living four years. This is not a joke. Um, the other aspects in these tests where spermidine was beneficial, and again, it's delivered in in the form of wheat germ, so it's not like you're taking uh, a pharmaceutical. Um, it's improved. It can help with metabolism, oxidative stress, mitochondria, telomeres, autophagy, brain function, and of course, mortality, which I just mentioned in the beginning. So the news here is um, the price reduction. Because David Sinclair has been talking more and more about spermidine, taking it himself now for, I believe, about eight months, if my math serves correct, somewhere around there, and reporting positive results in his own blood tests and his own experience with this, that we're, um, I feel comfortable with it. And basically more people like me are feeling comfortable with it. Sales have gone up. Messages went out this week from Do Not Age that they've reduced the price by 30% because the economies of scale allows them to order more now with their manufacturer and they're passing that on. So that's one big bit of news. You can now get Spermidine. There are links below in the description. You can get that at a better price. You could still use my code, save another 10%, so you could save close to 40% total uh, overall. Big, big savings on Spermidine from where you were before. Um, the other thing is to sort of celebrate this, uh, they're allowed, allowing me to give away two uh, 60 capsule uh, packages of spermidine or containers. So leave a comment, ask a question, you know, talk about your experience with wellness, um, whatever it may be. Leave a comment below and you will qualify for the giveaway of not one, but two this time uh, containers or package, packages of spermidine. And there's going to be two winners of this giveaway. So I thank you for watching. Look forward to, to hearing from you guys in the comments. Please like and subscribe. And I'll talk to you soon. But as you can see, I'm, I'm feeling really good lately. I got another tennis match tomorrow. I won my first one this year for the 50 and over team. So pretty excited to play again. Hopefully, hopefully tomorrow goes well, but I'm feeling really good. So I'm optimistic things can go well. And I set another record on my three and a half mile. I beat, uh, not by a lot, but I beat it by seven seconds this time. So I have another, I'm getting older and faster. See you guys soon. Thanks for watching.